so it's been yeah uh, fantastic journey uh, when we started we did not know how it will pan out we started you know both me and my co-founder manu we had a lot of experience in terms of delivering analytical services uh, but we also did not want the encumbrances of big companies and you know it comes with a lot of additional process that we do so we thought what we'll do we'll start on our own and we'll work on you know whatever uh, you know makes us happy and uh, only the niche areas that and that's all of that uh, that's how we started uh, we had one or two clients uh, but fortunately unfortunately they didn't <laughs> turn up after we <laughs> lined up so then we started to say okay what we going to do so fortunately we landed up some uh, you know projects some overseas projects uh, we started uh, doing some trainings um, and then, you know, at that point, nobody knew that these terms were not very common. Uh, deep learning was not even heard of, and uh, you know, at that time, if you look, wanted to do something open source, it was more R for analytics. It was SaaS versus R. So we kind of put that phase, but we always said we wanted to focus on the cutting edge thing. So even in that time, seven, eight years ago, we said we only want to focus on machine learning. At that point in time, and over a period of time, we. You know, so every six months, every nine months, we take a bet saying, okay, what's, where is the market moving? We take uh, feedback from our clients, uh, you know, from the industry, and we take a guess saying, okay, these are the areas that we want to invest in. And that's, you know, something we have done consistently. Every year, at least, we will take a point saying, okay, here are the areas that we want. For example, five years ago, we experimented a lot of technology and we said, you know, we are going to put all our weight behind Spark. And saying no other tool but Spark. And then some of those bets came off. And then two, two and a half years ago, we said, you know, it's going to be deep learning uh, and nothing. So that's why we take that punt. And now we're saying, okay, it's going to be either, uh, you know, reinforcement learning or whatever. The next things are happening. So we keep on doing research. So we do, you know, about uh, 30, 40 percent of uh, our time and staff time we spent on researching new things that are coming up, reading up uh, papers, replicating, trying to replicate that, implement that. So we spend a lot of, you know, time there and then sometimes yeah we take wrong bets also we you know focus on something and then it turns out that you know the other things which have more uh, potential yeah see i think uh, people are doing it because there's simply no choice right if you're not doing ai ml today you're going to be irrelevant you know large portion of your workforce is going to be irrelevant so you have to be on cutting edge so it's a question of saying how much you want to spend on you know the next new thing betting on it versus you know when it matures uh, and then, then there are a lot of providers to it so we have chosen a path where we're saying okay we're going to work on the cutting edge. we'll keep on upgrading ourselves uh, in fact, we work with a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, analytics uh, and other, you know, uh, IT service providers and upgrading their uh, employees. So we've chosen a path saying we are not, you know, something we want, we don't want to have hundreds or hundreds of people, but we will enable other companies. And it may seem like, you know, some of them are, you know, in direct competition for projects as well, but we are training their staff on to saying how they can move from the traditional uh, uh, technologies. Uh, and techniques how to adopt them. So we have uh, you know very strong training program that we've been working for only for corporates, where we say within three to five days, or, you know one or two days, we can really get people started on this journey of AIML, and that's what I think everybody sort of needs to do until it gets to a point where you know it, this will be the only thing, and then you know this becomes the the norm. This is a very nice initiative and it is needed, much needed for a country like uh, India. So I think we have huge potential, uh, but uh, somehow, you know, we have not really come through on that potential. We are not doing enough research in this area. And I would even go to the extent saying there is not enough awareness about uh, AIML. There is a lot of hype, but people don't truly really understand uh, what is AIML. I mean, when I talk to clients in India, sometimes it's a very frustrating discussion because either people think this is just hype is nothing, you know, I am already doing it. You know, reporting is also AI uh, order. Or people think this is kind of a magic bullet and somehow I can just import AI into my portfolio and everything will become all right. They don't understand it's a journey and it's not that, you know, you know something today, you know, things are happening so fast within six months, two years. What is state of the art today? You'll, you know, some of it, 50% of it will be totally forgotten. Meaning people will say that was, you know, that didn't pan out well and new things will uh, come up. So it's a, you know, very fascinating phase, you know, fast changing world. And, you know, you have to deal with it. <laughs>